Hello YouTubers, in this video we are going to see continuous servo motor, it stops and slowly more speed, again more speed and keeping higher and then stops and then rotates in the other direction. Let's build this one. The wiring diagram is here, brown connected to ground, red connected to 5 volt and the orange connected to A1. You can connect to any PWM pin. For example, all this one, the purple color one of PWM, I have and also this one, I have connected to A1. Now, sometime the signal from here, the one it is 3.3 volt logic. Sometimes it's not enough for the servo motor. We may need a logic shifter in here. And I show you the logic shifter. The logic shifter, level shifter I am using is this one. You can use any logic shifter. This one is like this. The logic shifter I am using is this one. The HV is the high volt, that is 5 volt side. LV is the low volt, that is 3.3 .3 volt side. Now you can try without the logic shifter, it may work. If it doesn't work, use the logic shifter here to translate. It, it works like this. The signal pin comes through low volt side and high volt side connected to the servo and uh, ground and 5 volt connected accordingly and the ground and 5 volt this side. This side is 3.3 .3 volt. The wiring connection is here. Now I have opened the Cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install Cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. You can continue. Click System Core. Click Sys. For the debug, select Serial Wire. Now we check the clock speed. That is 8 MHz. You can change it if you want. I just keep it as it is. All the time of speed also 8 MHz. Now we go to pinout and configuration. Uh, we check for the PA1 which timer is connected. So that is timer 2, channel 2. So we click timers, timer 2 and uh, clock source, internal clock. For the channel 2, PW generation, channel 2. Now the timer speed is 8 MHz. So we need 50 Hertz for the servo motor. So first we divide by 16 and then again we divide by 10,000. So we get 50 Hertz. 8 megahertz divided by 16 and then 10,000. If it is 72, you, you multiply by divide by 72 times 2, that is 144 and then 10,000. That's all the setting. We can click save. Now we go to user code begin 2. Here we, here we start HAL Tim PWM and now hold the control and space bar. So auto complete that is PWM start that team 2 and the channel is team CH channel 2 in the while loop We can use the macro double underscore H A L T I M set now auto complete that is set compare this one. Now finish it. 
whatever in here we copy and paste inside and then paste it here comma now the pulse width I start with 850 now when we go to the data sheet I'll provide the data sheet link in the description it works like this total time is 20 millisecond if it is 1.5 millisecond it stops so this is 10,000 according to our calculation so this one is 750 so 750 stop less than that it goes in this direction more speed and more than that it goes in this direction so 750 stop so I put 850, 950, 1050, 1050, 1150. So, and then HAL delay, maybe 2000. Close it. Now I copy this one. Paste it for nine times. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 850, 950, 1050, 1150. And then, here I go to stop. This is for the stop. Now I go in the other direction, 650. 550, 450, 350, and then uh, not, not 350, that is 750 to stop again. So, how it, how it works is slowly one direction it goes faster, faster, more faster, and stop here, and then other direction slowly more faster and then stops here again that's all the code we can click save now we can upload the code using this button I normally use debugger and open OCD it will work with the original board also with the clone boards click show generate option go below Reset mode is software system reset. Click apply, click OK. Now it's uploaded, all good. I have uploaded the code. It is working like this. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you, bye.